catch a motor running Head out on the highway Looking for adventure And whatever comes our way Yeah, darling, go make it happen This is so dope. So I'm just chilling in my house. And I see a big shadow coming through. So I'm like, what the fuck going on? I go see what the fuck going on. I'm about to show you all. This is what the fuck is going on. A cow has pulled up right next to my house to graze. I'm about to go see what's up to it. See what's going on. Let me see if it doesn't run off when I open the door. Still there. <laughs> we just chilling out here with the cow. I'm about to have a seat. Just sit still. It's a majestic and beautiful creature. How you doing, Miss Cow? What a gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous animal. I love moments like these. I really do. And look at look at look at his friends over there. There's three other cows back there. So there's a total of four cows that pulled up right next to my house. How you doing? You cute as fuck. Talking too much. You are pretty. Do I identify as a polyamorist, monogamist, or I choose not to use labels at all? I'm with the third option. I don't like the labels. You know, uh, labels are uh, unnecessary. You know, for matters of the heart and spirit, there truly can be no words that can do it justice. But with that said, I believe that our intrinsic nature is polyamorous. And I'll explain that a bit further, because this is the thing with language, it can be very confusing. Polyamory was a word made up by a woman named Morning Glory Cell in 1990. And she did it as she was writing a paper and she wanted to describe the philosophy of having long-term, intimate relationships, love and relationships, sexual or otherwise, with multiple people. And in the English language, there did not exist such a word. So she and her partner made it up. So as time moves forward, polyamory, you know, when you use that word, most people think sex. Everybody's like, oh, sex, sex. Oh, you, you know, you're having sex with a bunch of people. It's not about that. It's about having intimacy. Love truly is that. You know, deep intimacy, respect, uh, compassion. You want to see people doing good. You want to feel, be. You want to see people f feeling good. So I'm with that. Uh, I have a lot available. Film, a, lot, 
op- a lot of openness, a lot of abundance <laughs> in my life. But uh, you know, I'm not going around having sex with a bunch of people. You know, I think last year I had sex with one person. Um, you know, I think that intimacy is much greater than sex. Sex is something that can, you know, be euphoric and amazing, and, and, and you know. Sacred sex is definitely part of my practice, but it's not the end of be all. Above everything, we must have relationships where we share trust, mutual respect, and true intimacy. And I have abundance of that in my life. And I'm very grateful for all the women and men in my life. You know, we treat each other as brothers, sisters, you know. Sometimes, you know, I'm the daddy, and sometimes they're the mommy, and you know. We just love on each other, but uh, labels, you know, stay away from them. When you put a, a label on yourself, you, you, you put yourself in a box. Forget the box. Just be. Let your motor run and head out on the highway. Looking for adventure and whatever.